Hi viewers, you are welcome to another episode of Start Pro. In this episode, we'll be designing the cantilever retaining wall that we analyzed in the last video, and we'll be doing that with the RC designer. So before we move in there, we will first of all um, create a load envelope here in Start Pro. So you go to General, and then you go to Load and Definition. Then you come to Load Envelope, and then you can add. So all of the loads that we have here. You can transfer them to the selected portion you know they were in the available so you need to transfer them and then one more thing let me try to take them back if you want to take just this load to the selected part you only need to click just this arrow you can see that this has been taken there if you want to take this you click this take this you click this if you don't want this there then you don't need to take that okay so that is the purpose of the um the arrow button but if you want to take all of them you can just use the double forward all right then the type i uh, will be using um the strength and then click on add then it will tell me that it can disrupt my analysis so i have to rerun the analysis so click on yes and then i can close that so i can make this to be in the ULS and then I will have to analyze again all right since that is done you can just click on done and then now we have to go to the RC designer so you go to concrete design all right here we are in concrete design so you can see this is a place here we have plates we have plates but we don't design plates in RC designer what we design is slab so we need to convert the plates into slab so click on this particular plate and then you can come to slab click on form slab also the plate you have at the bottom here you can also form that to slab let me put this in front view then this one select this plate and then you can click on form slab and that will be a slab and then this last one um, you can turn this to slab also this you can turn it to slab also this and then you can turn this to slab okay so um, let's see in isometric view so we have all of those in slab so now we can go to the next one which will be the creating of brief and creating of um the group so you go to new brief and then the new brief the first one we only have slab so i will give it slab i will name it as slab you can name it anything you want but since it is a slab it makes more sense to name it as slab so i'll be using the bs8010 to design it if you want to use something maybe the aci this is ACI of 31 hits or um, this is 1999 okay so I'll be using the BS810 and this is a slab so click on slab then you can click on OK so the cover I'll be using um, a cover of um, 30 so the maximum aggregate size let's use 20 mm and then the grid let me use 2530 and if you want to personally define let's say you want to personally define your strength of concrete you can come to user define and let's say you want to use 40 megapascal you only need to insert it here as 40 megapascal and then pick the load envelope you know we only have one load envelope which i just selected everything so the load envelope is here then you can go to the main reinforcement so fixed bar size um you can also click on wound and ember okay and then the main type let me use um 460 let me use 460 so that i can have more strength so you can see we have um two you know this is the top uh this is the top bar criteria and this is for the bottom bar but remember that for the top bar you have some spanning in the x direction and you have some spanning in the y direction so let me just use um 12 mm so if it doesn't pass we will have to come back here and increase this okay so you have to come back and increase it that is just what you can do here so click on ok so we are done with that then you can come to the slab under the group so click on new design and then this can be slab one this is for slab one and then click on ok click on the second one and then i'll be picking the second slab click on ok then this will be for slab three click on ok this should be for slab 4 
click on OK this should be for slab 5 click on OK and this should be for slab 6 click on OK I actually created six slabs but yours may be less than that you know it doesn't matter just form your slab so now that we formed everything we just need to design so to do that you can come to um, concrete slab this is for slab design 6 you know this is slab design 6 so all you just need to do you can come to region and then you start drawing your region but that will be I don't want to waste so much of time I've shown you how you can do that in the last video so you can always check that out so I'll just go ahead and design so click on design so this has been designed and then you can see the results so the moments you have at the top in the x direction you have 21.42 you have 5.6 for the bottom these two are for the bottom so in the x we have 26 we have 9 okay so you can see that the x direction that's where you have the higher load you can see this one is 24 this one is 21 that is your moment and this one is 26 and then the t12 did they pass we have 250 spacing for all of them 250 mm spacing so you can just use y12 250 mm spacing so that has been designed you can go to slab the next one let's go to five all right then you go to um design you click on design all right so um you can see that the results are not appearing so you can come here and then yeah i've been designed so you can see that too um you can see it's still 250 so go to the next one you have this slab four and then um go to design design that too and then you can see still almost the same thing almost the same thing all right almost the same thing you can see your spacing so we go to the next one slab three and then click on um design okay all right so you can see um slab slab four uh sorry slab three is not passing you can see it here you have fail fail so if you see the moment is not calculated also the minimum spacing is not calculated we can go to the next slab which will be slab two and then let's design that okay so this pass you can see your moment so that is a success and then you can go to slab one and then design okay then you can see um this you have um a little bit of problem you can see we have some that are filling you can see we still have some that are filling that's in red color and then when you look at the results maximum when you look at the results you'll be seeing that your spacing is less than 50 mm how can you be having a spacing of um 50 mm not even 50 mm this is less than 50 mm okay so look at your moment you're having a moment of 307 3282 217 244 these are high moments so all you just need to do is what you need to increase the diameter of your reinforcement all right you need to increase the diameter of your reinforcement so that's a slab one so it means we're having problem with slab one and slab three so we can go back to description layer okay but which of them is slab one and which of them is um slab three so um you need to check your so you can come here where you have the label okay and then you can come to the label so you can just click on slab number then you can click on okay okay i, I guess it's slab one this first one is slab one okay so it is this long one that is not passing all right so that is where we have um, a little bit of work to do and we have okay the first one here that's slab one okay so to do that you just need to create more brief so don't let me do it here let me come here so you need to create another brief let me click on new brief so let me call it slab for no let me call it slab brief for for slab three okay you know that's slab three so the design type is still slab so make sure this is um slab so you click on ok and then the cover is 30 i'll just leave everything as it is okay so 35 then the main reinforcement this is where i have work to do so let me put everything in 16 i think slabs this should 16 should work for this let me put everything in 16 then click on yeah click on okay all right so i can have another design group let me call this slab brief 
for slab one. Oh, let me just call it. I think the name is too long. Let me just call it slab brief for two. Okay, then this should be this. Okay, so let me go to main reinforcement. Okay, let me put everything in 20, 20 mm all through. So click on OK. All right, then you come to slab here. Take away this one. This you know this is for the slab one. Let me delete it. And we have um, slab three. Let me delete it because I'm having a different slab brief for them now. So let me create a design group for slab one. So click on design group. Then this is um, slab design one. Okay. Then the design brief. This is the one I use for design one. Okay. And then pick for slab one. Click on OK. Create another one here. This is for slab three. So this is what I use. All right. And then come here and check slab three. So click on OK. All right. Yeah. So now let's go back to um, concrete slab. So I just need to design one. So let me, you can see nothing is available. So let's try and do that. Click on design. Okay. So we have, um, you know, it is, it is kind of passing now. So let's see. You can see the moment is now different. You have a moment of um, 80 points uh, whatsoever. So here you, you have no moment at all. The moment is not, you know, the moment has been reduced up to zero. So you can see the moment is not that high. You have 200 and something before. So you have 80, whatever, whatever. So this is the spacing you're having, 400, 550. Here you're having zero. So here you have 700, okay? So this is what you have, okay? You can see this has passed now, unlike before. So let's see slab three. So click on slab three. And then let's see if slab three will pass. Go design. Oh, it is still failing. It is still failing. So that means I still have to, you know, do some editing for slab three. So let's go back to description and layout. You can go to brief. Go to um, slab. Then for slab three, let me delete it. And then let's take another one. That's slab three. Then what I'll be using, I'll be using this one. I'll be using this design brief. Okay. Slab three. Okay. So I think it should pass by force now because everything I have there is 20 mm. So this should this should be enough. So click on design. Yeah, slab three. Make sure this is in slab three. And then design. And then oh, this is still failing. You can see that regardless of how much we are increasing the um the diameter of the steel this is still not passing so it means we have to do something else what you just need to do is maybe you have to increase the depth of the toe beam you know the depth of the toe beam is 450 mm that means you have to increase it further to about 600 mm if you still remember in the start pro let me close this um yes and then let's see the let me show you the analysis results go to post processing click on ok and then let's see the plate stress um let me just put it in the absolute and then click on ok let me zoom in let me pan it you can see everything we have here is red you can see everything we have there is red Everything on that slab one is red, and the maximum and the um, the value is what is greater than 7.19 mm. It is greater than 7.19 newton per mm squared. Okay, so that is telling that you have a very high stress. You can see everything is red at this point. So what you can just do to increase to reduce the stress is maybe you have to increase the thickness. So you have to go back to the modeling and then you increase the thickness to about 600 mm or 750 mm then you now rerun the um the design using the process so that is how you go about it okay so in this video i will not have to increase the thickness but at least you can do that and then you try and see how it works out okay so thanks for watching if you like this video make sure you leave a like behind and you need to subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't subscribed thanks for watching